Hi, in this video I will show you how you can create automated workflows for use with Microsoft Project Server or Project Online to help you move your projects along its life cycle by adhering to a project governance framework that you define using tools such as SharePoint Designer. Each of your project types can have its own workflow. Creating a project from Project Center using the new button within the project ribbon will trigger a workflow if one has been associated to the project type. Here's my list of project types within my environment. In this view, I have grouped my projects by project type and then by face, just to help illustrate where the projects are in terms of their life cycle. By entering into a project's details, where there's a workflow associated to that type of project, then you will see this graphical representation of the workflow on the project's main page. Here is the project's current workflow state. We can see that it is in the plan phase at the moment. The workflow will dictate and manage what if any information is required before it can advance to the next stage of a phase. In this example, all information is shown complete, as we see by the project's detail page information, which is displayed and controlled by our workflow for this project's type. The descriptions for each PDP displayed or required can be defined when setting up your stages, as I will show you a little bit later. Further down, we can expand the details of our workflow stages to see the stages and phases we have completed or what remains. Additional actions can be taken, such as submitting it for review using the options available on the ribbon, or approving it by clicking through the additional workflow data link at the bottom right of this table. The bottom left side of the server settings page in PWA, you have the links to set up your project types, the workflow phases and stages, and changing or resetting workflow for created projects. And this is where you can also create project detail pages. Here's what you see when you look at where I need to go to define my project types that I have in my environment. You can see in the second column that workflow is associated to each of my project types, if any. So before creating or completing your project type definitions, you need to set up your workflow. You begin by going to workflow phases to set up those first. You can see here that this form is quite straightforward, requiring you that you simply provide a name for that phase. Nevertheless, before you start down this road of setting up your workflow, you'll need to design it so that you know ahead of time what you need or want to configure. Next, you need to set up your workflow stages. I'll go to an existing workflow stage that I've already created to show you what it looks like. Name and description, straightforward. Message to display to users when users click to submit the workflow in the PDP. Workflow phase. As you can see, this is why you need to set up a phase before it starts. The workflow stage status PDP. The default here is fine. The PDPs you want displayed during the stage. The description that you want to be displayed next to each PDP, as I mentioned earlier. Select the project detail page requires attention checkbox if you want to highlight this page to the users. That is, it's not just for information purposes, but requires action for the user. Fields that are required to be populated before the workflow can enter the stage, fields that are read only in the stage, and strategic impact behavior, if applicable to the stage. And last but not least, does the project need to be checked in before entering the stage in order for some project updates to be performed during the stage? Now we are ready to run SharePoint Designer, which happens to be version 2013. It's a free download. And by the way, Microsoft has not updated this for uh, quite some time. Click Open SharePoint Site, and then enter the URL for PWA. User account and password information will be asked if it's your first time accessing it. Navigate to Workflows. You will see the list of site workflows that have already been created and that I'm able to associate to my project types in PWA. I can create new workflows by selecting Site Workflows here. I will go ahead and show you one that I've already created for this demo. Select Edit Workflow in the Customization section at the bottom left, and this will bring you here. In this page, you can see my text-based designer. There are a couple of stages that I've been defined by me already. There's a flashing orange bar, horizontal bar, that I can use my mouse 
to position uh, and where I want to apply some instructions. Depending on where I position this orange horizontal line, the insert group on the ribbon gives me access to different options. At this point, I can choose a stage from the list. These are the stages that I have defined previously in PWA. Scroll down, you can see the various stages and the respective steps along with a transition to stage instruction to tell it where to go next. If you want to get into more details about creating workflows with SharePoint Designer, I recommend you look at some of the other videos on YouTube. I have a couple of those that I've included in my playlist if you're interested. Thank you for watching.